Now you should be watching this video if you already know what integration by substitution is, you're just not sure how to do it because the examples can get a little bit tricky. So what we have here is eight examples. I'm going to work through all of them really fast. Uh, now, step one when it comes to integration by substitution is knowing where to put your u substitution, knowing what to let equal u. Now, in general, it's the more complicated place. What do I mean by the more complicated place? Well, we have integral 4x, and then we have all of that raised to the power of 4. Another way to look at that is like a composite function, u to the power of 4, something to the power of 4, function inside a function. So that's going to be your u value here. Now this one, integral 3x squared plus 1 over root x cubed plus x. Now this is just a function, but this is a function inside of a function. So that's going to be your u. This one here, integral sine x cos squared x. This is a function, but this is a function cos x squared. So cos x, not cos squared x, but cos x is going to be your u there. 3x e to the x squared. e to the x is a function, but e with x squared inside of it, that is your u. It's the thing inside the function. Now here, integral ln 4x over x. x is just hanging out by itself, but 4x, that's a function inside of a log function. So that's going to be my u value. Let's ignore this one. It's special. It's weird. Okay, next up we have this one here. Now again, this one's going to be a little bit special, so we might have to manipulate it before we decide what our u is going to be. And this one's definitely a little bit special. We're going to have to manipulate that before we decide what our u is going to be. All right, I'm going to rub all of this off now, and then we're going to do them one by one. So here's our first example here, and as I said, we're going to let that equal u. So u equals 2x squared plus 1. Now your next step, it's pretty formulaic actually, your next step here is to find the derivative of that. So the derivative of u with respect to x is equal to 4x. And then your next step is to uh, rearrange this so that dx is the subject. So dx du over 4x. And that little piece there is gold, because I can now substitute that in to this equation for with respect to x. So let's write the whole thing out. We have integral 4x bracket. Now, that is what we're substituting for u. So we just put u in for that bit, u to the power of 4. And then instead of with respect to x, we put in with respect to x, du over 4x. Now, look here, 4x times u to the 4 with respect to u, and then divided by 4x. We have 4x and 4x, we can cancel those out, and we end up with u to the 4 with respect to u. And now I can integrate that. And integrating that is the same as integrating anything that looks like that. We increase the power by 1 and divide by the new power and we're going to need a little plus c on the end. So now it's just time to put the uh, u back in. In this case, it was uh, 2x squared plus 1. So u to the 5 is going to be 2x squared plus 1 to the power of 5 all over 5, and then our little plus c on the end. Now, I've purposely done this in two different colors, so you can see that there's a little bit of, like, select your u and find the derivative and then rearrange and then it's subbing things back in and coming up with a final answer. So our second example here, and this is our sort of more complicated section, a function inside of a function, and that's what our u is going to be. So u is equal to x cubed plus x, which means that the derivative of u with respect to x is 3x squared plus 1. Ooh, 3x squared plus 1, 3x squared plus 1. Okay, that's interesting. Okay, now I can rearrange this to make it du, 3x squared plus 1 with respect to x. Okay, now that I've done that, I can sub this back into my original equation and sub u back into my original equation. So, let's take a look at what it looks like. The 3x squared plus 1 is still there for now. I have this being u, so it's going to be square root of u. And then all of that is multiplied by du over uh, 3x squared plus 1. One. All right, that 3x squared plus 1, that 3x squared plus 1 is going to cancel out, and what I'm left with is integral 1 on root u uh, 
with respect to you. Now that multiply sign, I'm playing pretty fast and loose with that. This is like with respect to you. So I guess we could probably write that as one over three X squared plus one and then a with respect to you on the end. But I'm happy doing it this way just to get the result we're looking for. So now all we need to do from here is integrate that. Now it's gonna be easier to integrate if we write it as u to the negative one half with respect to u and then work from there. Now increasing that power negative a half by one makes a half and then divide by a half. And then there's a plus c. Dividing by a half is the same as multiplying by two. So I get two. Well, let's put the u back in now that we've done all this work. Uh, it's two and then u is x cubed plus x. And then that's being raised to the power of a half plus c. And depending on who your maths teacher is, we might want something that looks more like two root x cubed plus x and then a plus c on the end. And you can see this is very formulaic, okay? We're, putting, we're deciding what our u is, we're finding the derivative and rearranging and then shoving it in and then manipulate, integrating, manipulating. So another example here, integral sine x cos squared x with respect to x. Now you need to remember that cos squared x is not cos squared x, cos squared x is the same as cos x all squared. And that, that is what our u value is going to be. So we say that u is equal to cos x, and the derivative of u with respect to x is negative sine x, and then finish that off by saying that dx is equal to du over negative sine x. And now we can use that to put everything we need to put into here. So we have an integral, we have sine x there, we have cos squared x, which is cos x all squared. Now u is going to be our cos x, so we have multiplied by u squared. And then we have this thing on the end, du over negative sine x. And I'll put a little multiply there. Okay, what do we have? We have sine x divided by negative sine x. That's going to give us a negative 1. So that's the same as saying integral negative 1 times u squared, um, and then with respect to u. Now that negative is just causing me a little bit of pain, so I'll just put it out the front of my integral, and I get that. Okay, now I need the integral of u squared, so I increase the power by 1, and divide by the new power, uh, and then there's going to be a plus c on the end. Just need to tidy that up. So negative 1 times that. Uh, I'm really ready to sub back in my u, which was cos x. So I can say that it's equal to negative cos cubed x, a little plus c on the end, but uh, the cos cubed x is being divided by 3. I guess another way to write that would be negative 1 third cos cubed x plus c. Um, both look okay to me. Uh, all right, again, pretty formulaic. So another example here, and this is sort of our more complicated function inside of a square root function, so that's what we're going to let equal u. It's at this stage that I really need to sort of stress a little bit uh, that this and this, they sh this should pair a passing resemblance to the derivative of that. What I mean is, you should look at that and say, x cubed minus 1, that's going to give me like an x squared something, 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 and that's an x squared something, something, something. So they're related in some way, as in this is going to be the derivative of the thing inside here. All right, enough of that. We're going to talk more about that in another one. All right, so let u equal uh, x cubed minus 1. So that means the derivative of u with respect to x is equal to 3x squared. And we can express that as du 3x squared equals dx. And now we can substitute that and substitute that into that. So that'll look something like integral. Uh, now we leave the 5x squared. That's good so far. Uh, that root, well, let's express it as a half. That makes it easier. So uh, it's going to be u to the power of one half. And then instead of that, with respect to x, I'm going to put in this, du over 3x squared. Okay, uh, now this is the first time, when I said the derivative needs to pair, bear, um, bear a passing resemblance, that's what I'm talking about here. 5x squared and 3x squared, they're not the same, but they do look pretty similar. So when I divide one by the other, I get uh, integral, I get 5 on 3 there, 
and the x squareds cancel each other out and I'm left with u one half with respect to u. Now that 5 thirds troubling me so I'll move that out of the integral and I'm left with u to the half with respect to u. And now I can put that, uh, actually let's find the integral now, that's probably a good next step. So it's 5 thirds times uh, increase the power by 1, 3 on 2, uh, divide by the new power. So if I divide by 3 on 2, that's the same as multiplying by 2 on 3. So I'm just going to do that here now. And then I'll get a little plus c on the end. Okay, uh, let's put that together now. 5 times 2, so I get 10u to the 3 on 2. I get uh, 3 times 3, which is 9. Let's put that there. And then we get a little plus c on the end. Finally, u isn't u. u is um, x cubed minus 1. And I'll put that to the 3 on 2 plus c. Uh, now, I guess we could do something with like square roots and things like that. So I can express that a little bit differently. So I can say it's x cubed minus 1 all to the power of 3 square root plus c. Mm, not a big fan of square roots, but it's probably the way that most people will want you to do it. Uh, this and this, they're equivalent statements. So another example here, this time we have an e to the x function with a function inside of it. So that's what our u is going to be. And again, you can see the passing resemblance between x squared and the derivative of x squared, which would be something x. All right, so we're going to let u equal x squared. So the derivative of u uh, with respect to x is equal to 2x, which we can express as du 2x dx. Okay, and now we sub that in. So that 3x is going to remain there, and it's going to be e to the u, because u is x squared, and then instead of with respect to x, it's going to be du 2x. Now, 3x divided by 2x, what we're going to get is integral 3 over 2. Uh, those x's are going to cancel out e to the uh, u uh, with respect to u. All right, and that 3 to the 2, oh, 3 over 2 can come out. 3 over 2 integral e to the u with respect to u. Now we know the derivative of e to the any e to the u is going to be e to the u, so that's three over two e to the u plus c. Now we don't want u; we want to know what it is with x in there, so it's going to be uh, equal to three over two e to the x squared, and then a little plus c on the end. Now you saw this question in the intro, and I smugly underlined this here, but there's a problem, right? Look at 4x. If I derive 4x, I don't get something that looks like x. Oh, man. Because if I derive 4x, I don't I get, don't get an x function. I just get a constant, the number 4. Uh, but if I derive ln 4x, if I derive the whole thing, I'll get something very similar to 1 on x. So, this time, we're doing something a little sneaky here. We're going to let the whole thing equal u. Now, you should know that the derivative of that is just going to be 1 on x. And, of course, we can now express that as a dx. And this is the first time we're going to get something that looks a bit more like that, right? If I move the dx there and the x here, we get x to u equals dx. Now, let's sub that into this. So we let u equal ln 4x, so we put the u on the top, and we've got the x on the bottom, and then instead of dx, we get x du. Oh, isn't this neat? x du is on the top, and x is on the bottom here, so they cancel each other out, and I'm left with the integral of u with respect to u. Now, when I integrate that, I'm going to get uh, u squared over 2, with a little plus c on the end, and... Uh, Putting back in what my u value is, I get ln 4x all squared over 2 plus c. And I guess it might be nicer to say that it's half ln 4x squared plus c.